I will not um, say, uh, I will not cast any blame to any African leader, but there's, you know, there's diversion of lots of interventions which are supposed to be channeled to all of this, you know, um, intervention, but rather they have, some of our countries are open, yes, but they are ready to face, you know, the challenges which are numerous. And these challenges are very glaring that the leadership of, you know, and the government of Africa in implementing digitization is very uh, difficult to combine. So, well, in my opinion, if most African countries are still calling after more than 50 years of independence from the colonial rule, it is impossible, it is very impossible uh, to meet the requirements needed to join nations like um, Singapore, or like Netherlands, like the Israelis, who have been investing in really digital technology. So can I say that it is, um, it is logical for Africa to advance from the previous revolutions before they could talk about the post-industrial revolution. I am not ruling out the fact that um, some countries of Africa also have, you can see some pockets I will call it some pockets of a fourth industrial revolution in them, like even in the Jones family. Recently, someone contacted me and was asking me if I know of any country in Africa where drones can be manufactured. And um, it's actually a very difficult question to answer. Why? Because we searched countries like Kenya, Zambia, South Africa, and uh, well, I am not saying that we can't find such countries in the northern Africa. I know that some Africans are also pulling it, like Axon, one of my friends Axon. Um, he is um, he trained in Ukraine and um, he is based in UAE now. He moves from um, from Cote from Ivory Coast, and he moves from Cote d'Ivoire to, to Dubai now so that he can be able to partner with some of uh, technology providers to uh, manufacture drones because that's his area. He's, he's, an he's an agricultural engineer and he is uh, specialized in manufacturing drones and also trying to encourage the youth of Africa also to... Uh, thank, you, th thank you very much for that, uh, Dr. Kichi. Uh, now, I'm trying to see, before, of course, you said correctly that uh, Africa is not a country. Uh, there are a lot of uh, more than 50 countries in the in the continent that is called Africa. So, it might, yes, it might be difficult to just categorize everyone, to, uh, every all the country to be one. In this case, when we are looking at whether Africa is actually prepared for the fourth industrial revolution, or if there are example of this. But at least with all these uh, 54 countries in Africa, there must be uh, one or two or three. Uh, that are showing good example of what the fourth industrial revolution can actually do. Are there some examples that we can see in some African country? Is some countries in Africa that can say, okay, these are uh, progressive, embracing new technology, and they are they are prepared for the fourth industrial rev um, revolution? Yes, of course. Um, we have countries like Rwanda. Um, Rwanda is um, um, Rwanda is like the headquarters for the Israeli, um, for the Israeli uh, government in the world of Africa. So um, lots of interventions um, which will happen or which is happening in Africa comes through Rwanda because of their, uh, their partnership and collaboration with Israel. And, and of course, you know that, that, that Israeli agriculture is quite advanced. I'm not saying that Ghana is not also uh, championing it um, from West Africa, they are also doing well. But I can, you know, like even even now, I am um, in touch with some Rwanda. Um, we are discussing on how to deploy some technology to Burundi, to Uganda, and even in the um, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. You know that region is also, um, you know, pulling it. Then what we, we can also reckon about South Africa. South Africa is also. Um, you know, doing well in advancing, and even Zambia and Kenya, Ethiopia as well. So, um, 
uh, most of those countries, you can identify the areas where they have some um, uh, some agro commodities which they are, you know, exporting in very high quantities, and which, of course, their economy is getting uh, their economy is growing by you know by day through the uh, production and also uh, exportation of such. Uh, commodity. So when they are doing well in that, they they will now, you know, welcome those uh, welcome some aspects of the uh, industrial like in the drone, trying to bring in drones. Of course, you know, drones uh, can help to um, you know in production. It can help to um, yeah to tackle the issue of pests and diseases in the farm. And um, it can also help to you know, create more jobs by, of course, bringing more youth that will be able to fly those drones and even the artificial intelligence with them. Uh, well, it's still, um, you know, like I mentioned, it's just like trickling down, like raindrops um, inside of Africa and inside of those countries. And uh, recently, the Nigerian government is also trying to to champion that as well. All right. Uh, uh, okay. You say Africa didn't even uh, yet uh, <laughs> fully materialize uh, or take advantage of the of the third industrial revolution. So maybe the fourth industrial revolution, if we are prepared for it, we are not, we are not really quite sure of that. So by that, I mean the, the age of the machine. Uh, we didn't produce a lot of machine in Africa. Uh, so uh, if we are going to be able to succeed in the fourth industrial revolution, which of course is powered by a lot of uh, advanced technology, uh, it, one will be asking how much uh, are the government investing in the um, in the people so that they will be able to uh, have, become a key player in it. You know, one thing is to need the technology. Then you can go to Israel, like you uh, currently have mentioned, or if we go to Japan or go to. Uh, the U.S. and buy this technology and they come and apply it. Another thing is to develop some of this technology because you have uh, put in a lot of money to train people so that it can be locally, uh, so that the local people can uh, sort of become a key player in this area because it's not only in the cultivation of crop we are talking about now, but also in the transportation, in communication, in very many aspects of it. Uh, so if we are going to buy all this technology, it's going to be very, very expensive. But if we can at least produce part of it, because we are basically going to be at the end of the day going to be talking about coding now, uh, data and all that. It's, it's not all of this one is actually lacking, you know. But it's about the the, the collation. Uh, so how much are we really investing in a way that the local people can be actually become player in understanding what is actually happening in the core of the fourth industrial revolution? Yes, can I say that it is actually very important to you know, prepare the ground. You know, Africa, we need to prepare with knowledge. We need to introduce, um, we need to um, um, introduce the, fourth, the industrial revolution and the dimension of the fourth industrial revolution in the curriculum of education. Since, they, you know, of course, you can see that the education sector is very vital in, you know, Bring it, you know, driving transformation from that form, yeah, from that um, angle. So, um, aside of the education sector, also the other sectors we need also need to partner because you know the cost. There is, you know, there is high demand. Uh, uh, sorry, there is high cost. Those um, the fourth industrial revolution has. You know, it's a very costly venture. It's a very expensive venture because um, we are talking about drones, and to buy a drone, wow, it's quite expensive. You can imagine buying a tractor is expensive. Not to talk of buying of drones, trying to install the gadget for artificial intelligence, trying to develop, you know, the the structure, you know, of a um, uh, uh, blockchain. And of course, we can see that the benefits are not really be overemphasized. So there is every need for preparation to be done. There is every need for us to prepare the ground to welcome this technology. We need to um, partner the Africans in diaspora. And I know that the African um, 
African Development Diaspora Institute is also trying very, very you know, much, and even the State of the African Diaspora is also trying very hard to ensure that the that there is um, the installation of the um, you know of the gadgets of this. Of course, that is you know you know it's a groundbreaking initiative, which of course we take Africa to the next level. 